Following a judge's order, we're now getting the first look today at a report by the grand jury that investigated former President Trump's involvement into trying to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia. And there are some surprising re revelations here. The grand jurors recommended indicting 21 people who were ultimately not indicted or charged, among them a sitting U.S. senator and two former U.S. senators. In Georgia today, a previously secret report was released showing that a special grand jury in Fulton County recommended ended indicting 21 additional people in the state election interference case against former President Trump and his already 18 co-defendants. Among those 21 new names that the district attorney chose not to charge, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, a Trump ally. I voted to certify the election to suggest I'm part of some grand scheme to overturn the election makes no sense. Georgia's Republican Secretary of State has said that Senator Graham suggested the secretary had the authority to reject certain absentee ballots, making him feel pressured. Senator Graham today refuting that, insisting he simply wanted to clarify about the state's process before voting to certify the election. I asked him questions about the mail-in voting process. I never asked him to set aside ballots or anything else. The newly revealed names come after a judge ordered the release of a report summarizing the findings of the special grand jury that investigated Mr. Trump and his allies' efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results. Also named, but never charged, former Georgia Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler. The grand jury makes decisions perhaps about who they can indict, who they believe that there is sufficient evidence for, and then it's really up to the prosecutor to exercise her discretion to make a decision as to who they should indict. Former President Trump on social media blasting the grand jury report, saying, quote, they wanted to indict anybody who happened to be breathing at the time. He denies any wrongdoing. Legal analysts say prosecutors may have ultimately decided there wasn't enough evidence to indict these additional 21 people, or there could be issues like the speech and debate clause that protects members of Congress. It's also possible that some of these people are now cooperating with the investigation.